Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across a .NET 2015 framework error that the installation did not succeed and that framework 4.6.2 has not been installed. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial here guys and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the start menu. Just left click on the start button one time. You want to go type in MMC, best match should come back with MMC here. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now that we're in here, go ahead and select the file tab and then select add slash remove snap in. At this point, you want to go ahead and locate certificates and go ahead and just left click on that one time and then select the add button to move it over. You want to set it to computer account and then select next. Now that we're on this page here, you want to go ahead and keep it at local computer and then select finish. Once that's done here, we should be good to select OK. Now you want to go select the certificates that we just created over here. And over on the right side, you want to locate trusted root certificate authorities and go ahead and just double click on it. Should be a certificates folder in here. Go ahead and double click on that one as well. And now we want to go ahead and right click on the certificates folder, select all tasks and then select import, select the next button. Now we want to go open up a web browser, doesn't matter which one, but we're going to open up Google Chrome for today's tutorial. So I will have a link in the description of my video, I want you guys to copy it and then paste it into the URL address bar in, in whatever your web browser you're using. Should be a CRT file that should download pretty quickly. I'm just going to go ahead and actually show in folder and I'm going to move it to the desktop here. I'm going to close out the web browser. And now in this file name field, you're going to go ahead and select the browse button and we're going to navigate to the file location. So again, this will be on our desktop here. You can go ahead and double click on it. And then I'm going to go ahead and select next. Select next again and then select the finish. Should say the import was successful. So at this point you can go ahead and select OK. Close out of the console window here. It says save console settings to console 1. Go ahead and select yes. I'm just going to save this in the Windows Administrative Tools. You could save it on the desktop too, it doesn't matter to me. You can delete the certificate on our desktop here. And then if you go online and go ahead and proceed with the download of your runtime framework you're having the problem with, it should work fine. So let's just go ahead and download net. Let's go ahead and set download net framework 4.8. And you're gonna go ahead and search for that. Go ahead onto the Microsoft web page here. And we're gonna go ahead and select the runtime version Run the file, select yes. And it's already been installed on our computer, so we don't have to worry about that. But in your case, it should let you continue installation without any problem. So pretty straightforward. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.